Hello viewers, I welcome you all from HLT of Tech channel and today we will talk about the product catalogs in Microsoft Dynamics CRM or Dynamics 365 on-premise environment. So if we talk about uh, product catalog that is available in settings and in settings it is available as a product catalog module. In product catalog module there are four components. They are very important because uh, every CRM organization uh, that is running or handling uh, its business through Microsoft Dynamics CRM is uh, maintaining some list of uh, products that are related to some particular families. If we talk about the product, a product is an item in the product catalog that you want to sell to your customers. Okay. For example, if you are uh, having a comp electronic uh, organization, you have the electronic uh, component uh, appliances that you want to sell and your brand name is uh, <coughs> let's say Dolans. So if we talk about uh, any uh, brand name that is electronic component, uh, electronic appliances related brand names, uh, it may be higher, it may be Dolans, it may be your uh, Mitsubishi, all of these companies have their uh, particular products. Okay, uh, you manage your products here. All these companies uh, define the product family here, whether it is a refrigerator related appliance, whether it is a cooling unit, whether it's a washing machine or anything else related to that company. You can create the product bundles here and you can manage the properties of product records. You can publish, revise and retire product records and also reclassify them to move them to other areas of the product catalog. So if I click on product catalogs, right now it's a new server I haven't defined it any <clears throat> you can define any family here you can define a product you can define a bundle here so let's say if I uh, create a product here uh, I name it as refrigerator okay uh, product category uh, category ID that will be refrigerator triple zero one uh, there is no parent and uh, this model that is this pro uh, product ID is valid from one year for one year. Let's say its launching date is 4 December and it will be active till uh, 4 uh, December 2023. I will save it. <clears throat> okay, this is the name of the refrigerator here and it's a uh, here we can see different type of views here if we talk about active product bundles there is no uh, view here if we talk about the system views all product bundles we cannot see anything and uh, if I talk about uh, all product families and bundles we can see that there is a refrigerator here so uh, in this way you can also define a product you can specify the product related uh, ID for example we are launching a new refrigerator of uh, refrigerator <coughs> and uh, here you are defining the model number that is let's say triple zero double one and it belongs to refrigerator and uh, this model will be applicable till uh, six months and uh, here you can define the description that is new refrigerator i'm just giving you some examples to give you a <coughs> just a overview here you can also define the unit group uh, i am defining a default group you can define the price list here right now it's locked uh, and uh, you can also uh, define the price list item product relationships whether it is related to some particular model or any other thing else here you can uh, define it like this okay this is the mandatory information decimal sports two and here you can save it okay now uh, you can define the um, default price slip here you can create a new one price slips are important we will discuss it in our upcoming classes so in this way you can also uh, manage the products in your uh, settings so going back into the settings 
and product catalog we can define the price list here because uh, remember this thing that these all components that are one two three four are interdependent on each other all the information must be updated because right now i haven't updated the price list uh, right now if i click on refrigerator here you can see that uh, uh, there was no price list available here what was the reason behind it because in uh, if we go into the product catalog and go into the price list there is no uh, active price list right now for creating the one you have to click one new and you will name it as refri generator price uh, the date will be the same that is from june from december till 4 june currency will be this and uh, territories i am leaving it uh, as uh, default and this is now uh, if i go into the product catalog price list you can see that one price list has been created so if i go again into the product catalog families and products refrigerator and uh, here i can uh, assign the price list of now we, i can assign it here so in this way you can uh, have to update your record accordingly and uh, you save the record and you can publish it whenever you want to require so so if i go again into a uh, product catalog the third point is that the discount list okay a discount list is a uh, list that contains the specific discount discounts that can be applied to a product based on a volume purchased for example you have uh, your company has produced uh, 50000 units of a new model and uh, at the end of uh, the year you realize that you have only one month remaining and your 5000 uh, products are still uh, not sold yet so then you uh, introduce some offers you offer some discounts so in this way you uh, create the discount list here and you link it to some particular product <clears throat> Okay, uh, you define the name here, you define the type here, and here you can see that discount list may be generated. So, if we talk about uh, the product log loss component, that is unit groups. A unit group contains the base unit of a product that is available, such as a liter, then lists all the different increment that the base unit is packaged for sale. If you have, uh, you are selling some uh, cold drinks, you will specify your quantity in liters. If you are selling your units in uh, each applicable unit, uh, for example, you are selling some uh, units of uh, refrigerators, then you will specify it in uh, each applicable or any other unit. So if we talk about the default unit, this is a default unit. You can also uh, change your default unit. You can also uh, specify the new one and uh, you can link it to the any other unit for example i am going to say it's a refrigerator its primary unit is each applicable you will click ok and a new unit will be created so this was uh, about the uh, you know that uh, the product catalogs it's very important that your product catalogs must be updated and there is a separate uh, department uh, that is uh, you know the supply and chain department who is responsible for updating these uh, information similarly uh, the sales department is also related with the price list and the discount list and related to the unit groups and families and products the your uh, supply chain department is responsible for updating these information all of your business you know quite easily it's quite a fact that all of your business runs on your products so the more authentic and updated information available of the products it will be more easy to handle these informations so i thank you all for watching this video